calls from the world. Christ comes as a thief in the night, and it is not for us to know the times and seasons which God hath put into his own breast. God made and governs the world invisibly, and has commanded us to love and worship him and no other God, to honor our parents and masters, and love our neighbors as ourselves, and to be temperate, just, and peaceable, and to be merciful even to brute beasts. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself, I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore, and diverting myself now and then in finding a smoother pebble or prettier shell than ordinary, while the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. Opposite to godliness is atheism in profession, and idolatry in practice. Atheism is so senseless and odious to mankind, that it never had many professors. In experimental philosophy, we are to look upon propositions inferred by general induction from phenomena as accurately or very nearly true, notwithstanding any contrary hypotheses that may be imagined, till such time as other phenomena occur by which they may either be made more accurate or liable to exceptions. All variety of created objects which represent order and life in the universe could happen only by the willful reasoning of its original creator, whom I call the Lord God. The moon gravitates towards the earth and by the force of gravity is continually drawn off from a rectilinear motion and retained in its orbit. We are certainly not to relinquish the evidence of experiments for the sake of dreams and vain fictions of our own devising nor are we to recede from the analogy of nature, which is wont to be simple and always consonant to itself. I do not love to be printed on every occasion, much less to be dunned and teased by foreigners about mathematical things or to be thought by our own people to be trifling away my time about them when I should be about the king's business. Religion and philosophy are to be preserved distinct. We are not to introduce divine revelations into philosophy, nor philosophical opinions into religion. Just as the system of the sun, planets and comets is put in motion by the forces of gravity, and its parts persist in their motions, so the smaller systems of bodies also seem to be set in motion by other forces and their particles to be variously moved in relation to each other and, especially, by the electric force. Absolute space in its own nature, without regard to anything external, remains always similar and immovable. Relative space is some movable dimension or measure of the absolute spaces, which are senses determined by its position to bodies, and which is vulgarly taken for immovable space. Why there is one body in our system qualified to give light and heat to all the rest? I know no reason but because the author of the system thought it convenient, and why there is but one body of this kind? I know no reason, but because one was sufficient to warm and enlighten all the rest. God is a relative word and has a respect to servants, and deity is the dominion of God, not over his own body as those imagine who fancy God to be the soul of the world, but over servants. If anyone offers conjectures about the truth of things from the mere possibility of hypotheses, I do not see by what stipulation anything certain can be determined in any science, since one or another set of hypotheses may always be devised which will appear to supply new difficulties. The same law takes place in a system consisting of many bodies, as in one single body, with regard to their persevering in their state of motion or of rest. For the progressive motion, whether of one single body or of a whole system of bodies, 
is always to be estimated from the motion of the center of gravity. The same thing is to be understood of all bodies revolved in any orbits. They all endeavor to recede from the centers of their orbits. And were it not for the opposition of a contrary force which restrains them to and detains them in their orbits, which I therefore call centripetal, would fly off in right lines with a uniform motion.